So if you're lucky enough to have hedgehogs in your garden or you would like to encourage them into your garden, then we need to be thinking about what we can do to help them get through their hibernation over winter. So there's three things that we're going to think about today. Firstly, how can you set up your garden for hedgehogs and hibernation? And then secondly, what things we can do to provide additional nesting and hibernating spaces for them? And then third, the food and water that they need to set them up for hibernation. So you can see behind me, there is a log pile, and that's a perfect start for setting up your garden ready for hedgehogs this autumn and winter. Log piles are fantastic for hedgehogs. They're also great for beetles that they can eat and lots of other wildlife as well. So if you've got some access to some untreated wood, um, then it's a good idea to stack up your log, log pile, bring in more wood if you can, and create a nice dark shady corner of your garden where there's some untreated wood that can be left to rot. And what you're looking for in a good wood pile is as much contact with the soil and the log as possible. And also making sure that it's not just going to fall away. So as stable as possible and bigger bits of wood will last for longer. As well as a log pile, hedgehogs are known to love compost heaps. So it's a good idea as we move into autumn to think about doing any work that you need to on your compost heap so that from late autumn through into the spring, you don't need to do anything to that compost heap. So a good compost setup will be an area where the hedgehogs are able to get in and under the heap. So some of the man-made boxes or tubs are sometimes a little bit too close to the ground. If it's a plastic base, then the hedgehogs can't actually get in. So you can simply raise it up on a few bricks and that gives the hedgehogs access so they can get in there and they can find a nice warm spot for them to hibernate over winter. As well as compost heaps and log piles, a third thing you can do is very simple. This autumn, collect up your leaves and scatter a mulch across your garden. So this will be great for also adding nutrient to your soil, which will help your plants, your vegetables, but also having a few inches thick of leaves will provide shelter for the hedgehogs. They can get in under there and that might be the hibernating spot that they choose. We have. It's the hedgehog box called the Hogelo. So it's a slightly more robust box. It's ideal for hibernation. Again, I'd do similar in that I'd put some leaves on the floor inside. That would just make it look more natural and be more welcoming. It's really good for being very waterproof. However, I would also cover this one with some leaves and some twigs to try and make it look as natural as possible. I'd be also thinking about where to put it in the garden. So a nice sheltered, shady, cool spot under some trees would be the perfect spot. And you don't want to be opening it up during the autumn and the winter to, to look, because you really want to leave them undisturbed as much as possible. But it does have this useful bit for opening and clearing out next year. So we've got a couple of types of food here. The key is that they're specially formulated for hedgehogs. So hedgehogs are omnivores, so they will naturally forage for quite a wide variety of, of food. Um, they eat a lot of beetles and insects, which is why they're great to have as our gardening companions. And it's really important to think about where you're going to put the food, because you don't want to encourage pests like rats and you also don't want the food to be getting wet or to perish so it's a good idea to just put out a small amount of food regularly and to use something that's going to keep it dry so here we've got the archway ground feeder it's great for feeding birds and for feeding hedgehogs and it's good because it keeps the food dry and it's really accessible to the hedgehogs. As well as food, you want to be thinking about providing water for the hedgehogs. So ideally, you'd have one of our trays full of some special hedgehog food and one tray that's full of water. And you can have those side by side 
the purpose of the feeding is to build them up before their winter hibernation. So they can start hibernation from November onwards. So you'd be wanting to think about building them up. Any time of the year really is a good time to be feeding them. But autumn is ideal because they're taking on as much food as they can. They need to get to that critical weight to ensure that they can survive the winter where they don't wake up and they don't take on any food. So once you know you've got hedgehogs hibernating, you don't need to be worrying about continuing to put out food. It's just about keeping them undisturbed.